Hello YouTube people, today is gonna be rather short video. This video is from the series uh, where I bought a bunch of ultra cheap watches trying to find some good ones. This time I'm gonna show you this woman's watch. I bought it because it has certain things that I like how they look like. And if it turns out that this watch doesn't have any major quality control problems, I will give it away to my mom. If it does have any problems, you know, I will do the usual things. I will destroy it with a sledgehammer or I will put it on fire. Nothing unusual. <laughs> uh, but really quickly, I just want to show you what I have on my wrist right now. I took this Casio out of the box like 30 minutes ago. I bought it used. I paid uh, 15 euros for this watch. I'm super happy how it looks like. It's incredible simply incredible very very lovely casio watch really looking forward to do a review on this watch but today let's take a look at this questionable watch let's find out is it a shitter watch or is it any good there are many things that i like about this watch generally speaking it just looks cute looks nice i really like those bubbly indexes they look even luxurious i would say those hands very nice shape, very feminine. They look beautiful. The size of this watch, it's tiny. It's beautiful, tiny watch. I like how those lugs are sticking out. This bracelet looks nice. I mean, it's a pretty looking watch. I mean, design wise, I, I, I see nothing I could complain about. Very nice looking watch. Now let's take a look if I can find any quality control problems. One thing that I really don't like about this watch is the loud ticking sound. But all ultra cheap watches tick rather loudly and my mom says that she doesn't hear this kind of ticking. So I will give it a pass this time on the ticking sound. Let's check other things. How is the crown action? Well, the crown stays in place. Rather nice. Very well damped. Doesn't wobble. Nice. The ratio is very sensitive though, the minute hand feels very jumpy, but the crown stays in place, that's that's alright, I like that. Let's try to set it on 45 minutes, let's see if the minute hand jumps. Oh, it jumps half of a minute, let's try again. Let's try again. At this time it stays in place. Okay, nothing unusual, nothing unusual, not too bad. It's a quartz watch after all, you set it and forget it basically, especially without a date. Okay, let's try again. Okay, it jumps a little bit. Ah, whatever. Now, let's see for the dust. Do I see any dust? Yes, and the micro lens, I see some dust, but nothing too major, I would say. If I look at it with my naked eye, nothing too bad. You know what? Let's disassemble this watch and clean it off a little bit. Hmm. Those dust on the very edge, they are not noticeable when the dial is inside the case, so no worries about that. Let's try to clean a little bit one particular spot. Because it looks like... Yeah, it's a quality control problem. It's a stuck thing on the dial. No, I cannot clean it off. Okay. Well, at least this tiny spot is not really that noticeable. With a naked eye. Not too bad. Nothing unusual though. Nothing unusual. Oh, cleaning off with a Q-tip was a mistake. Now I have to take off those extra hair of a Q-tip. I messed it up, haven't I? <laughs> I messed it up a little bit. Let me clean it off. Don't worry, I will clean it. Don't worry. It's all good. It's all good. We haven't lost this watch yet. We haven't lost. It's it's all right. Let's clean it off. Is it okay? Well, it ain't any better, but it ain't any worse either. So, okay. Okay. Man, what do I do now? <laughs> ah, this shit got stuck on the dial. No, no. Okay, I have to be rather careful. 
rather careful. Oh, come on, come on. How do I clean it off now? Oh, it's clean. No, it's not. It still has some blue textile on the index C on three. Okay, now it's clean. Okay, I can't, <laughs> I can make it dirtier. I cannot make it cleaner though. It has several dust that are completely stuck on the dial, but oh well, it comes with the price, I guess. Nothing happened, nothing happened, guys. Everything as it was. Sorry for that. Failed attempt to clean the dust, but I found another major problem with this watch. There is a scratch on the case next to the crystal right there, right there, a little bit here, also a little ding right there. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Another problem is the bracelet is not wide enough for the lugs. It could use an extra millimeter. If I don't tell you, it looks all right. You don't notice it. But once I tell you that the bracelet is a little bit too narrow, you cannot unsee that. Yeah, a little bit annoying. Speaking about the bracelet, it is made out of some kind of chrome plated alloy, I believe. It has some weight. It looks super nice on this watch. Really fits the style. Looks very beautiful. Doesn't have any sharp edges. Feels really good and doesn't pull here. It's actually a very good bracelet for the price, surprisingly so. Uh, a little bit fiddly clasp though, but also considering the price, it's all right. It looks nice. It has nice engraving. Rebirth. What an interesting brand name. A little bit cringy, but still not as bad as something like Mysterious Code. <laughs> not that bad, not that bad, far from it. It's it's all right. Looks okay, a little bit fiddly to use, but it's nice. Anyway, what's the verdict for this watch? I am not going to destroy this watch. I will give it away to my mom because this watch looks super cute. Beautiful watch. Really wasted potential. It could be a very, very good watch. Now it is just a very, very beautiful watch. That's all it is. It goes into no tier on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where rate watches into different tier lists. This watch, I was hoping I can put it into not bad, but no, it has too many problems. It goes into no tier. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.